yo what's going on guys welcome back to another video we're gonna be doing question number 17 tls this is gonna be my last practice question for the ck exam 2025 i'm still going to upload um a lot of good content for y'all since y'all support me a lot next practice question is gonna be about um red hat certified system administrator so uh i hope you support me on that one so let's start this the question says there is an existing deployment called nginx static static in the nginx static namespace the deployment contains a config map that supports tls v1.2 and tls v1.3 so and we have another we have a secret for tls so there's a service called nginx static so it's the same name the same namespace and the task here is configure the config map to only support tls v1.3 at the ip address of the service in etsy host with the name itkdk8s local and verify that everything is working using the following command so let's verify that we have the deployment here as you can see we have the deployment so nginx static so now we're gonna verify that we have the config map so it's here nginx config let's verify now the secret the secret is nginx tls perfect we got it here and lastly we have the service so as you see got the service right here perfect so what we're gonna do right now is get the config map in a yaml file so we're gonna do k get cm name of the config map nginx config then we're gonna um, specify the namespace so it's nginx static so dash o yaml we're gonna store this in a file called configmap.yaml perfect so let's clear this and use the vi editor okay so we're gonna go down to the part where it says ssl protocols and we have to delete this one so let's do that and we're gonna go down because if you see in the second line we have another tls we want that too we don't want that so let's delete this part right here perfect now let's proceed to save this file perfect wq so we're gonna replace using k replace dash dash force dash f so the config map is deleted and replaced fine okay that's done perfect so let me get the deployment right now um just to see the name again so it's the same name okay so i'm gonna do a rollout restart to deployment we're gonna try this to later see if the core command gonna work now that we change the config map if it doesn't work the curl command we're gonna delete the deployment manually and then create it again so let me clear the screen and now we have to add the ip address the cluster ip of the service to etsy host so um, let me go ahead and copy this let's see if i know how to copy perfect so i'm gonna do echo no super user do echo because we need um, privilege to edit this file or this directory so we're gonna copy the ip address and we're gonna put the name of this one so it's gonna be it kitty of course and we're gonna redirect this output to etsy host so that way um this line is gonna be added at the end of the file so let's verify this using cat and as you can see it's right here that way it doesn't delete anything that's on the file any information that's done so let's verify the curl command right now i'm gonna copy this just like the way it is and as you can see the command is working but tls v1 should not work let me see if tls v1.3 is working so it's working too so let me clear the screen and as i said before we have to delete the deployment and create it again manually so what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna get the deployment in a yaml file so it's k get deploy name of the deployment 
the namespace dash o yaml and i'm gonna store all this information in deploy.yaml so let me um delete the deployment so okay delete and name of the deployment in your next static okay so as you can see the deployment is deleted let me clear this so let me cat the deployment that we just created okay it has all the info so i'm gonna do a k apply dash f let me delete this so k apply dash f and as you can see the deployment is created now let's go ahead and see if the deployment is actually running this is very important so okay you get to deploy and specify the namespace and the next static and we're gonna watch it okay it's one one so one replica and let's see the pods one pod of course status running so now we're gonna try the same command again so this one should not work so let me copy it let me see if i know how to copy okay copy and paste it here and as you can see we have an alert protocol version so we got an error it didn't work so let's try the other one this one is supposed to work perfect tls is working it kitty so we got it guys um this is going to be it for this video thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe this video and please support um, all the other videos I'm going to upload. And I'm going to see you in the next one.